What we're gonna do today is completely different. We are going to talk about a cherry saison recipe um, that we didn't brew, but it was brewed on our system by somebody else. They sent it to us, we're gonna drink it, we're gonna talk about all the recipe details, we are going to show you pictures of the brew day, and it's gonna be glorious. Perfect. So you said it's, I, I, I've been kind of out of the loop on this. So this is a cherry saison yeah. brewed by... Sarah Flora. Okay. Flora Brewing. Is she a brewery or? Brewer, home brewer. brewer. Home brewer. Okay. okay. She's got an awesome Instagram channel. One of the few female brewers, I think, that's at least like publishing stuff regularly. On Instagram. On, yeah, social media. Uh, but she brewed this cherry saison. So let's just talk about the recipe yeah, real quick. Yeah, for sure. Eight pounds of Pilsner. Okay. Two pounds, eight ounces of two row. Two pounds of white wheat, eight ounces of Munich, one pound of sugar. 90 minute mash at 160 degrees. Hops, um, half an ounce of citra at 60 minute. 1.25 uh, ounces of Matauka. Do you know that one? I don't. Motuka uh, at 15 minutes. And then um, a couple extras added in here. Um, 10 grams of crushed coriander at five minutes. Five grams of fresh rosemary, crushed, five minutes. 96 ounces of tart cherry juice into primary. Y yeast, 37 to 11. Original gravity, 1.06. Final gravity, 1.012. Um, seven gallons of water starting. Sweet original artwork. That is really cool. Yeah. She drew the picture for the label. Um, anyway, we have two bottles. I think this one's younger, that one's aged longer. So this one, I think, was, it foamed up when we opened it. So that's probably why it, it's so cloudy. There's probably a bunch of yeast in suspension because of the... Um... I don't know, CO2? Yeah, I think they're pretty Maybe not, hazy maybe. style. Too. Is it just a hazy style? I think usually, yeah, a little cool. bit. Cheers. It smells good. Definitely get that. <clears throat> Saison yeast. Uh... Oh yeah. Aroma, it smells really nice. Hell yeah. That's great. That's really nice. That is really good. I don't think if I knew there's cherry in there, I'd be able to pick out cherry. Not in a bad way, but it's, you can definitely, I think I'd definitely perceive it. But I don't know if that's because I know it's in there. Right. Versus like, Definitely a little bit tart, a little bit better. Um, yeah. It's got a really nice aroma on it for sure. It does smell really nice. Dude, here, here's a confession, man. I do not like Saison beer. I don't drink a whole lot of them. Yeah. So I just this don't. is probably like the two worst people to be reviewing well, a Saison. This one, I do like. It's nice. I, I do really do like Yeah, this and one. it. The thing I've never really liked about Saisons is um, they're just like dominated by the yeast flavor. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Like super kind of barnyardy, I guess, more so. But this isn't, it definitely has the like, the esters and all that from yeah. the yeast, but in like a really nice, it's a nice, a nice taste to me. The rosemary really cuts through. Oh, that's what I was trying to figure out what that was. Yeah, rosemary, which is not a conventional. No, I don't, I don't think I've ever had a beer with rosemary. In yeah, it. I think that kind of took me a little bit off guard when you said that. Yeah. Um, definitely getting a lot of black pepper, which I'm assuming is from the yeast. Yeah. A little peppery. Yeah, it's peppery, spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't tell from getting the cherries that's possible <clears throat> if they're added to the beginning of the primary fermentation that right. the yeast kind of just destroyed the um, the flavor but I feel like I am picking it up a little bit but it's not it's not like cloying or like in your face it, if it's there right. it's very subtle right honestly like this is a beer in the like summer on a nice summer right. day I could probably crush a six pack <laughs> right. without even thinking about yeah. it nice work Sarah this is awesome this is great um, again, so brewed on our system. If you want to brew this recipe, uh, we'll put the full recipe details on our website, link below. Um, you want to try this other bottle too? Yes. All right, I'll... She sent us a couple of bottles. 
This one's actually aged. Really nice color. And this is the same exact recipe? Yeah. Okay. I was just curious. Right. Second bottle. It's a little different. This one's a um, taste drier to me. Almost champagne-y? I did just get both of these bottles in the mail today. So this one's definitely more tart. Yes. You're right? You know, it has like a more acidic kind of tart. They're both really nice. They're both yeah. very different. Right. I would say brew it and give it a try. Yeah. It's super good. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya. See you guys.